welcome everybody. So uh, I'm going to be uh, talking a little bit about, um, not so much about the product, uh, more about how the product has been used or how Maple has been used uh, over the, uh, the the last 25 years that um, uh, MapleSoft has been a company and we've been uh, um, starting and promoting and developing um, Maple into the, uh, the technical organization. Uh, what I mean by a technical organization is um, any uh, organization that uses mathematics as part of their business to, to solve uh, critical design uh, problems. Um, um, Samir Khan and I are, are, are engineers by background, and the, um, really the focus of this presentation is very much on the engineering use of Maple. But really, what we learned uh, in, over this time is um, can be equally valid for um, for other types of applications such as pharmaceuticals or, or banking or other um, uh, financial institutions that are also um, major uses of our uh, of our tools. Um, so to, uh, to just give you an outline, I'm going to spend about uh, 20 minutes or so just giving a little bit of an o um, overview of what we have learned uh, over the last, 20, last 25 years in terms of um, promoting and uh, supporting Maple within the, 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 te the technical organizations um, that, are, that are our customers. Um, and how this has evolved into um, a, you know, a tool, tool chain or a, um, a process that has helped to accelerate the development of te technical applications within those organizations. And this is really at the core of this presentation, just talking about how um, Maple and um, add-on tools are being used to uh, uh, take organizations from initial concepts right through to the deployment of solutions that are de developed around those concepts. Um, I'm now going to pass the um, microphone over to Samir to take you through some example applications. And then I'd like to wrap up just to talk about one uh, area which is really bringing uh, all these concepts together, and that is um, uh, the MapleSoft Professional Services Division, which allows you to uh, uh, provide expertise uh, to help you maximize uh, re your return on investment if you, if you wanted to actually use the, um, the tools in the way that I'm going to describe in this presentation. Okay, so, um, so actually one of the first things that we, we've learned since uh, that we um, spent a lot of time uh, reviewing how people are using uh, Maple and also uh, just in general how uh, um, people are using uh, tools for doing uh, technical uh, calculations and solving technical problems. Um, and certainly one of the first things that um, uh, was highlighted is uh, basically you know, what, what we're calling engineering's dirty little secret, and that is that Excel is ubiquitous and is used in um, many, many uh, engineering situations and for doing engineering calculations and probably exceeds the use of other tools for, for doing this, which uh, is a little alarming for re reasons we'll come to in a moment. Um, but it seems that um, because Excel is, is, uh, is so ubiquitous, um, and calculations for doing um, design decision types of cal calculations, um, you know, they're, 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 prefer they're painful to perform, and Excel has become the engineer's prefer preferred form of self-medication, if you like, they, they, to be able to roll their own um, uh, calculation within uh, Excel. Um, does have a lot of advantages for uh, for engineers. They can do it quickly and uh, and rustle something up and uh, and then and then use it. Um, and of course, because Excel is everywhere, then those solutions are easily distributable to others within the organisation, and then start to become de facto tools for um, um, for doing these kinds of the, the kinds of calculations that they are doing, um, even if they contain errors. And this is the biggest issue that uh, um, uh, would, uh, many of our customers are facing um, because of the use of, of Excel, and uh, the many. Um, articles and uh, reports that have been written around this as, as being a major problem and, uh, and is costing organizations a lot of money. There's very little oversight on how those calculation tools are being developed and managed. It's not easy to, um, well, it's easy to introduce uh, errors, but very difficult to actually track down where those errors occur. And there's a wide risk of wide propagation um, throughout the organization of, for, for, for those errors and that can turn into costly or even disastrous uh, um, design faults with, within the, um, our customers' products. So that's the bad news. 
the good news is that our customers are actually starting to change change the game. They certainly see the advantages of taking a systematic uh, control of the development of important design calculation tools, uh, not just the tools, but also the process, uh, management oversight, and so forth, that um, um, will mitigate the risk of, uh, of the kinds of errors that are typically you, uh, seen in um, Excel-based tools. Um, they need tools that can expose the, and, uh, the mathematical structure um, and preserve it um, th throughout the, the process so they can easily do uh, verification, make sure that uh, nothing changed from stage to stage in terms of um, the, um, with the equations and um, having meaningful variable names. Even units can have a, a major impact on the, uh, um, any errors in units can have a major impact on the, the, uh, the ultimate design. And the solutions need to be traceable and auditable. Uh, to, to be able to trace from the, uh, the calculation tool right back to the original concepts, uh, the basic relationships, those equations, uh, and even back to references to the, te the technical papers that those equations and ideas may have, uh, have come from. And that's really where um, Maple has been able to bring um, a, a lot of uh, benefits. So in general, these are the sort of kinds of problems that uh, our customers are, are um, wrestling with and um, you, um, using tools like Maple in order to uh, uh, solve that problem. When we actually look at where Maple is being used or how Maple is being used within uh, these organizations, there are sort of three modes of operation. Um, the first is um, advanced analysis. So the ability to be able to uh, derive solutions from fundamental relationships from, um, and use the equations and symbolic computation to deri derive those equations um, is of great importance to those people who are doing this kind of work. The, the very fundamental uh, conceptual work and, um, and turning that into something that's useful for the rest of the organization. Uh, if you take a look at the typical tools that would be used for doing this, well, pen and paper and, and brain is still used uh, uh, quite a lot. But really, this is the, where Maple has been able to bring um, a huge amount of uh, advantages in terms of uh, rapid formulation and preservation of the knowledge that went into developing the, a solution. So that's really where the, um, I feel like this, uh, where our traditional users of, uh, of Maple um, have been using uh, the, our tools, but now we're starting to see it increasingly being used for uh, actually developing uh, applications, uh, technical applications, for um, uh, to, for turning these into calculation tools. Typically, um, the person that is doing this kind of work is a technical programmer, not a software developer. Uh, it will be an engineer which ha who has some knowledge of, of programming. Uh, the they, they like the, the idea of being able to use um, flexible programming uh, environments um, like Maple. Uh, the fact that it has user interface tools that allow them to, uh, to create um, um, enclosed applications um, uh, that provides an, an interface between the, um, the, the, the mathematics and the, the job that the, uh, the operator needs to do. Typical tools for doing this in-house would be in-house in tools using uh, C or Visual Basic. Uh, of course, MATLAB is uh, uh, very prevalent in, the, in this area, and Maple is starting to be used uh, very significantly um, in this stage uh, as well. And the, f the final mode is just as a calculation tool. Um, and I stress the difference between a calculation and mathematics. This is uh, simply using equations that have been uh, typically been derived from somewhere else. Uh, these can be simple calculations, but they can also be highly complex uh, calculations. And they're typically being carried out to support some kind of design decision um, in the design process. And typical tools would be pen and paper still. Um, obviously, Excel is, this, is the area where um, uh, a lot of people are using uh, to do this kind of, this kind of work. MathCAD has been... Um, um, you know, quite dominant in, the, in, a, uh, in this area as well. But now we're starting to see Maple being used uh, as well for doing the calculations that uh, uh, engineers need to do. 
So these are the sort of the, the, the three modes, and typically they're, they're, they can be treated as, um, as sort of standalone in terms of the, the, the activi activity, but there is actually a natural flow that's come out of this. So uh, we can see that we're going from the um, initial concepts, the, the basic research, if you like, then turning this into some kind of asset, some kind of knowledge-based asset uh, that can be then used for developing a solution uh, that can then be used as a part of a uh, calculation tool and then deployed throughout the, the, the rest of the organization. And this is really, we as a, as a, as a company have been um, working very hard to support all those stages in terms of the, um, the features that have gone into the product and, um, and, and essential tools that, uh, that help in, in each of those stages. Um, I won't go into a, a lot of detail, but um, but this is the, the, the kind of um, set of functionality that is required to support um, each of those stages. So, so now there is a, a, a nice flow uh, right the way through that process. But the important thing here is that by using uh, Maple as a symbolic tool, as the uh, tool for managing those equations, the mathematical structure is actually preserved throughout the process, and this really helps in terms of just validating the, uh, your calculations. So it provides you with an auditable, auditable path uh, that allows you to verify right, but right from the calculation tool right back to the, um, the original um, work that was done to, uh, to, um, to, uh, to, to develop the, 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 the solution. So it's essentially uh, what we can say here is that um, you know, from concept to deployment, Maple really is providing you know, the complete environment uh, for, for the technical organization, and, um, and we will continue to develop this uh, further. But this is uh, the important thing is that um, uh, there is a, um, a, a workflow and that we provide capabilities at each of those stages to, to help you develop uh, fully validated, fully validated calculation tools and avoid some of the problems that are, arise from using uh, tools like Excel. Um, just to give an example, um, so in this particular case we're looking at a, uh, this is a, a vehicle dynamics um, application, but at the uh, advanced analysis um, uh, development stage um, we provide an interface for doing um, um, e easy uh, problem entry the uh, entry of the equations, powerful symbolic capability for, um, for um, combining all the basic um, uh, relationships together and then create a differential equation or a system of differential equations for um, um, solving numerically and then data import, export, uh, plotting uh, for, uh, for validating the solution and then documenting the whole thing so you capture everything in, uh, in, in one environment. So as a, as a, a tool, Maple really can, helps to, to turn complex physical uh, concepts and mathematical relations into sophisticated analysis and al algorithms with the world's most advanced symbolic computation technologies. And it can do this rapidly and error-free. For the next stage for te te technical solution development, um, one of the major uh, advances with the recent, release, the recent release of Maple is the uh, advanced uh, code editor, um, and we have since uh, released a, um, uh, an IDE uh, code uh, tool as well um, to uh, take all these concepts that have been developed in the initial stages and then turn these into a, a solution that combines um, the programming language with uh, the mathematics uh, for developing various algorithms and then combine these with user interface uh, tools to produce a, um, a, a final application that could be used by somebody else. Um, and then the final stage is being able to then deploy that, um, the, the solution as a calculation tool throughout the, um, uh, your, uh, the organization. Um, we have uh, various options for full deployment. Um, you can simply generate code from, from your solutions and embed those into an in-house tool, or you can take what you have just created inside of Maple 
and deploy it using either MapleNet or Maple Player. Okay. So at the end of the day, you can produce uh, interactive design tools that um, you know, combine all these mathematical um, uh, uh, ent entities uh, into one environment. You can, com you can combine that with images and movies, and then to deploy that royalty free, free and then through your organization. Throughout your organization. So with that, I'm going to pass over to um, uh, Samir and take you through the uh, uh, through Maple. Thank you very much, Paul, for the introduction. So my name is Samir Khan, and I'm one of a team of application engineers here at MapleSoft. Uh, we speak to our customers and help them understand and use our technology. So what I want to do over the next five or six minutes is just give you a bird's eye overview of our tools and how they work and how you interact with them. So our brand ambassador, our flagship tool, is Maple. It's a technical calculation package. Maple's very broad, it's very flexible and it can mean many different things to many different people. In fact, one of the features I value most of all is the sheer versatility of the Maple interface. You can have many different elements inside your worksheets. So this is a document I prepared for training purposes a few weeks ago. It elucidates the concept of hydraulic ram pumps. So here I have explanatory text a picture I've pasted in from another application. I can also embed a video for training purposes in my application as well. I can also model the hydraulic ram pump from first principles physics just by entering and manipulating my equations. And as you can see, these equations are in proper mathematical notation. So we have overline division, Greek letters, proper differentials, and so on. Now, one of the concepts which is becoming increasingly important, certainly to system engineers, is systems modeling. Within my Maple document, I can also embed a systems model developed in one of our other tools, Maple Sim. Here, I've just created a model at the physical component level. I can interact with this systems model programmatically within the Maple environment. I can simulate the model. I can run multi-threaded parameter sweeps or Monte Carlo simulation and view my results interactively inside the Maple worksheet. Now, let's speak about one or two other features in greater detail. So we found that there are several features which are important to engineers. Um, engineers are always on the hook to do their job as fast as possible. So we've tried to make Maple as fast and efficient as possible. So even our basic math functionality, so basic trig or mathematical functions are highly efficient. So here I've just generated a random set of, I think, a million numbers, and I can carry out some very basic mathematical operations very quickly. Even these minor performance gains, when compounded over repeated calculations, make a real difference to the user experience. I also have fast, higher level functionality as well. So our numerical matrix computation functionality is automatically multi-threaded across all of the cores of your computer. So if I just multiply two numeric matrices together, um, I use all of the cores of my computer. And I also have automatically multi-threaded computational algebra as well. Um, this may seem quite niche, but this computational algebra functionality is used in many higher level Maple operations as well. So I benefit from, say, automatically multi-threaded polynomial manipulation without even realizing it whenever I use higher level Maple fun functionality. Now, for those of you who are writing code, um, we have a code edit region which embodies 
some of the concepts found in more complex interactive development environments as well. So let me just run this movie. The code edit region is very dynamic. You need to see it in action. So I have things like automatic indentation, bracket matching, syntax highlighting. Um, it catches errors as well. So as you can see, it behaves very much in the same way as a modern IDE. Now, signal processing is a very broad concept, and it has applications across many different engineering disciplines. We've recently revamped our signal processing functionality so that it's fast and efficient. It's targeted towards the high-speed processing of very large data sets. So, for example, I can generate a random list of numbers of, uh, uh, say, 2 to the power of 22 in size, this could be generated randomly inside Maple, or this could be a data set that I import in, say, binary format or CSV format. I can then calculate the FFT a bit very, very quickly uh, in about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 seconds. This is very, very fast. You'd be hard pressed to get um, faster signal processing functionality than this. I also have higher level signal processing functionality as well. For example, I can read in a data set, for example, an audio file, and plot the spectrogram. So this allows me to see the individual frequency components in uh, consecutive time slices of my wave file. There's also significant functionality for control systems. So I can plot control plots like uh, Nyquist plots, Bode plots, magnitude plots. I can linearize systems. I can also automatically tune control systems as well. Now, one of the concepts that Paul mentioned was code generation. We can generate code within Maple. So, for example, you can use Maple functionality to fit, say, a spline to a set of data that I've imported. And then I can translate this high-level mathematical description, this piecewise function, into anything from Fortran, C, Visual Basic, uh, even Java, or MATLAB code as well. I can then copy and paste this into my own code development environments. Now, one of the concepts I mentioned earlier was systems engineering. This is becoming an increasingly important concept uh, there are many system engineering tools on the market. One of the tools is something that we developed called Maple Sim, and it's linked very tightly to the Maple environment. Um, within Maple, you can use Maple's analytical math functionality to prototype the equations which describe the operation of, say, a physical component. So here I'm simply discretizing a partial differential equation. I can then generate what's known as Medallica code for this equation description. Now, Medallica is uh, a largely European initiative to develop a broad framework for systems modeling. It's essentially a model description language. And there are many high level, and there are several high level modeling tools, including MapleSim, which allow you to take the generated Medallica code and use it at the physical component level in the systems model as well. Now, we can also generate interactive applications within Maple as well. These are high-level applications which allow you to manipulate data, apply math functionality, without having to see the basic underlying mathematical description. This, for example, is a spectrogram generator. I can load wave files, I can uh, set windows, I can apply individual filters and set the filtering frequencies by pointing and clicking. And I can plot the spectrogram and view the amplitude and the uh, uh, frequency uh, power as well. Now, once I've developed an application like this, I have a couple of options for deployment. 
One of those options is MapleNet. So you can export this to a web page, and anyone with the URL can interact with this application, load WAV files, and uh, view the frequency diagram, the amplitude, and so on. Or I can deploy this with a free runtime environment called the Maple Player. Um, the Maple Player is essentially a runtime version of Maple. You can load applications within the Maple Player. You can interact with the application via radio buttons, drop-down venues, text boxes, and so on. And you can view and plot updated results. And this is uh, uh, an interesting concept for free, royalty-free runtime distribution of applications that you developed in Maple itself. Thanks a lot, Samir. Just, so uh, that was a so very quick wrap up bird's eye overview and, um, of me. Talk a little bit about I'm how we, uh, we can help you bring all, this, port, bring all this wonderful de de technical solution development uh, together uh, within your own organization. Um, Samir is, uh, is part of um, the um, Applications Engineering Group, which is a team of uh, uh, very talented uh, individuals that have um, helped us to, do, to build our professional service um, business and we now um, uh, are engaged with uh, many customers for um, de de developing t um, solutions around our tools. Um, uh, on the, the slide here I've got a snapshot of the types of things that uh, um, projects that we get involved in, so things like model development of, uh, of multi-domain domain systems, typically around um, Maple Sim, uh, simulation and analysis and design parameter optimization, again that's um, the Maple Sim and um, uh, and Maple, um, plant, plant model code generation, turnkey solution development, anal analysis tool development, and also training. Um, and uh, there's actually one uh, um, interesting um, activity in this, adv advanced research and development. We actually have a team here um, uh, that is doing uh, a lot of work for uh, some of our customers in just developing advanced algorithms, um, uh, uh, control design solutions, uh, model reduction types of applications, um, where uh, and uh, uh, so that that team is is available for any sort of really advanced um, uh, types types of research work. Uh, but fundamentally, we can do all this stuff to really just to help you get productive fast, and that's the important thing. If we can uh, help you get um, develop the, the the right tools. Um, using using our products and, and help you in uh, de de deploying it through your organization so you can actually get the, the return on your investment as quickly as possible. Um, just to give you a sense of the kinds of uh, areas of expertise that we have, uh, so system level modeling and, and, um, and integration, uh, physics-based modeling, model simplification reduction. Uh, so I'm, I'm not going to go through the whole list, but uh, certainly these are the areas that we, we have some uh, um, you know, we can bring a, a lot of value in terms of uh, some of the more advanced um, uh, capabilities within the group. So just to wrap up um, the, the presentation part of this session, um, just to summarize, um, yeah, the, the extensive uncontrolled use of uh, Excel for doing these kind, kinds of design calculations is a major pain point for many technical organizations, and, and uh, many organizations have acknowledged that and, they, uh, and are trying to figure out ways of being able to, um, um, de to deal with that problem. And uh, many of our customers are waking up to this problem and, 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 and how MapleSoft can help uh, uh, solve it. Um, and this is much more of an engineering management issue than, say, um, uh, individual engineers doing, uh, doing their own work. Um, this has to be considered throughout the organization and it, uh, it, as, a, um, as a, I would say, a pretty urgent uh, management um, uh, issue that needs to be addressed. And this is why our customers are adopting our tools and services um, much more systematically. Um, so um, as you've seen, that uh, we, uh, there is a, a workflow that we can support, and, um, uh, and, and many of our, our customers are now adopting that. And we're now starting to see many others that are investing as well. Um, just uh, um, oh, certainly over the last year, we've seen uh, 
um, a considerable increase in our um, adoption of our tools to address this, uh, the, the particular problem of developing and managing um, uh, design calculation tools.